Hmm, I heard that you wanna create puzzle game in VR in Unreal Engine. Well, I'm Sir Fancy and I can show you how. So what you need to do is to take these objects and put them on these overlapping collisions. Put them right there, one more time, and the last one. And you can see that once I will put there this last one, it will turn green. Congratulations, you have just finished the puzzle. What a genius you are. If you put one of them away, it will turn red again. Green again. You can set it up to do whatever you just want. So, let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so as always, I'm in Motion Controller VR template from Unreal Engine. So, let's create actually new folder because we will have more of them today. And let's just call it Blueprints. Open it and first of all, let's create some desk that we will be creating it all. So, let's create Actra. And let's call it main underscore puzzle. And here let's start by creating a cube. Make it look like it is actually a table or let's actually do wall. It will look probably better with wall. So let's put it here, mm, a little bit bigger. Uh, let's set scale to two, uh, 2 and 2 on x and z axis. So 2 and 2. Not that it really matters, you can set it however you want. Okay, and put it a little bit more up. So in it, you can open it just by clicking on World Outliner right here. And in it we will need few things. First of all, let's create here a light. Because we need something that will indicate if the, pu the puzzle was solved. So let's do a simple point light. Put it, let's say here. And change light color to red and do something with it so it doesn't look that weirdly. Uh, I would probably decrease attentional, okay I don't know how to read that, <laughs> radius to about 100 and put it there much higher intensity and just make sure that you can see it there. Maybe even more that radius, let's go with like 30. We use it just to test if everything works. And we will basically set it up so it will turn green once uh, the puzzle will be solved. So what we will do next is to create here a few collisions. And let's do only like three because I don't want to do more of them. Make sure that it's attached to cube and not the point light. Alright, we will have to change dimensions a little bit. If you wanted to move it all together, I would recommend you to adhere scene component and just uh, move always with that scene component or you can use default scene root if you want to move with completely everything because otherwise as you can see if you attach it all to cube it will uh, have kind of messed up uh, scale let's put it here and make sure that it is set to visible because right now i want to see what uh, where i should put it so doo -doo -doo, it should be somewhere here visible and uh, this say like the hidden in game Okay, that's the first one, and another one, let's create right next to it. You can just, okay, you can't copy it, you need to duplicate it, and just move it here, compile, and move it here, next to it, and another one. You can do how many you want, you want okay, compile, and now we need some objects that can be put here. So we will use, let's go with, oh actually, let's simplify our life because no one wants to do something that is not necessary. So let's go to blueprints and copy BP pickup cube. You know, just click on Control C, go back to blueprints and press Control V. Let's rename it to object underscore 01. You can create how many of them you want. And what we want to do is to add here custom event. Because uh, we will set it up, once it will overlap with this collision, it will release it from its hand. Which means, which is basically this part of the code, we just don't need to simulate physics, because we don't want to simulate physics. So let's create here a new custom event, and call it detach. Adjust it here, and that's just fine. And now let's get back to main puzzle. So what we want to do is to click on this box and set it on component begin overlap. From here we want to cast to object 01, connect it to other actor. And first thing we will do is to detach it. So we will simply take from here that new function which we have created. Hopefully it's the right one. Yep, right this one. 
you can double click on it and it will take you right to that blueprint. Right, compile. And the next thing we want to do is to set its location and rotation. What you can do is to create here another arrow or do whatever you want, but I don't really want to spend the time with that. So what I will simply do is because it's overlapping with box one, I will simply take position of box one, get its vault. Uh, let's do actually transform and set it. So I will take this and set actor trans uh, set da, da, da. it's I believe set actor location and rotation click on this uh, return value and split structure and if you want to have it in some specific location once you overlap it with it you can just create an arrow or set that uh, coordinates by hand right here and let's see if it works so first of all you need to put object 01 in game put it somewhere here from the start it should have physics enabled so let's test it all right now in vr you can see that everything seems fine it's red because we haven't programmed any puzzle yet but we have first part if you take this grip and go near this you can put it here and it will switch there what's what's actually pretty cool is to do this method you can also put it away again and if you just close it a little bit to it it will switch there all right let's open it again Edit main puzzle and what we need to sadly do is to create for each of these collisions specific one. The bright side is that you can use different objects for it and the dark side is that you actually have to do it for each collision. So I will show you a quick trick that I used for this and let's simply take all these nodes and right click, collapse it to macro and open it. So let's quickly rename it. Call it, I don't know, attaching and make sure that you have output as well. And what you can see right now is in input and output, we have also these blue pins, which means that with each of these macros, you can specify them. For this one, because we are overlapping with box collision, we have set other actor to this one, or cast to object one. In this case, it always will be cast to object zero one, but we can change object where it will be attached to. So we will basically setting this get world transform by putting here different object. If I set it box one, it would simply appear and be attached right here. We just need to do one more thing with output and to take this as object zero one because we will need it for later. Simply put it here, compile and here in event graph, you can see that it, it appeared here and uh, right click on it and promote it to variable. We will actually need to have a reference for it. So let's call it object. 0, 1 underscore ref like a reference. Now it should be a little bit easier to do. Let's take box one, set it to on component begin overlap, and simply put here attach it again and just connect these factors. Make sure that you use box one if you are using box one, that makes sense. And again promote it to variable. And let's try to make, have same name conventions. It's actually still object 01, but we will call it object 02, ref, and the last one. All right, that's fine. And we have reference to for all these objects. We will need it in a moment. What you can do right now is uh, to somehow check that uh, this puzzle has been completed. Well, so first of all, let's actually put here more of them because we need to attach at least three to make this all work. I will do it in event tick because I want every single time to check it. But what you can do is to put here like a lever or button and use it just to execute this part of the code. Because if I do it with event tick, it's quite performance heavy. It's not that performance heavy, but it is somewhat. And as we all know, performance is one of the most important things when you are developing a VR game. So just be aware of that and possibly do it differently. But just to test it right now, we will add it to event tick. Let's move it all down and let's actually comment it. So select it all, click C and let's put here some proper name for example press the like button yeah that should be about right i hope they do it <laughs> all right now let's take this event tick we will add here branch and what we will do is to put here is component overlapping Oh, I, I actually made a mistake, I'm sorry about that. We will need to not connect uh, this output. We need to 
uh, put that a component which means that look into this object we are uh, just to quickly explain it we are checking here if components are where are we uh, here we are <laughs> where components are overlapping so we need to get a component and if we just connect it like it was it will be just an actor so what we will do is uh, go in object 01 look how it uh, is named static mesh component and in attaching let's simply take uh, get static mesh component scroll down get it and connect it right here we actually need to create new mode and uh, sadly enough you now need to delete it i'm sorry about that <laughs> you need to delete these variables and create the different variables of this static mesh component so promote it i, I actually won't name it right now uh, just to quickly demonstrate it it's called vari new variable 0 to 2 again we will do same thing right now so is component overlapping come on and uh, let's make sure that we know that component box 1 is overlapping with oh, just box is overlapping with new variable 0 so what this will basically do is once uh, these two components will be overlapping which means once you will be will put this object here it will execute it to true other than that it will execute execute it to false and we want to execute it to true and once it will happen we want to take light which we have created before uh, point light and set light color so let's put it here and set color light color and let's set it to green because green always means good I don't know why it just it just means good for some weird sociological reason compile it first of all let's test that we can put these objects here seems fine Turn it down. and now dick come on where are you going go down there and what we will do is to overlap it with this and right now it is set, set up only for first one so once i will let it overlap it should turn green and it's turned green congratulations guys we have a puzzle but puzzle only with one piece would be kind of boring. So what we will do is to click, quickly, quickly here, and put here. The, okay, destroy this thing. And put here end. We want end boolean, and we want three of them. So first one is this one. Connect it, and now just copy it, and we need to change it to box. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't want to do it. Box zero one. And uh, we have new reference, which is new variable one in component right here. Control C, Control V again, and do the same thing here. We will take box two with new variable two. Hopefully, your variables have better name than mine. I put it right here. And what we can do just to really play with it actually, there is no real reason for that. Set it to do once, and which means it will set it to color red and reset it on this. Sim just a quick, really quickly explain what this does. Okay, so every tick of the game, it will check if these three components are overlapping with other three components. If it will be true, it will set light color to green. If it will be false, it will only once set the color of light to red but after it will set the color of uh, light to green it will reset to once here so it will again set the light color to red hopefully it made sense and let's see if it actually works as i hope it does all right let's take it put here one put here two and the last one and it's green congratulations guys not lagging very much, so probably it doesn't, it's not that, that expensive. Take it off, and you can see it turn green again. You can create different objects and let it overlap in different ways, all up to who broke that. Alright, so by now you hopefully have some great puzzle game in VR. Or at least you know how to create it right now. At least this simple puzzle minigame or whatever you are doing not important i'm just babbling again anyway i have a patreon where you can download project files for this or support me if uh, you want i would very much appreciate it and other thing is that we have a discord channel so you can join it as well we talk there about vr regular game dev stuff 
who did who, what to do and I'm bubbling again. Anyway, see ya.